Hiya fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday. Today, a Fry Fry Friday update. We're gonna go over the fry in the fish room and the fry in the tubs outside and perhaps an update of the new red mosaic dumbleware guppies I got from eBay. Why don't you guys stay tuned? Well, hello fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today, a guppy tub update. Uh, believe it or not, it's Monday, but I'm filming this for you because I'll be on vacation and I want to put out a Fry 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 video. It's about 8.15 at night here in New Jersey. It's 97 degrees. I'm not going to lie. Us fat guys don't like the heat. It messes with our hair and it's bad. See, that's funny because I'm bald. So, all right, moving on. Let's take a look at the guppy tubs. We'll save this one for last. We'll start with the mutt tub. The mutt tub is doing quite well. I don't think there's any fry. I think uh, the juveniles are the smaller ones you see in there. I must have I must have netted them out when I made the mix, but I don't know if you can see that giant female right there. But uh, she should drop any minute. Uh, oh, a ladybug. We're gonna save the ladybug because ladybugs are good luck. Hopefully, it's not dead. Let's put the ladybug on the grill and hope it flies away eventually. I think it's dead. Sorry, ladybug. I tried to save you. Rip, ladybug. Okay, that was sad. So, Mutt Guppy Tub doing well. Still having drilled holes because, you know, I'm lazy. Um, Mother Nature is not cooperating with water changes. Look how low the water is. I may actually add water before I go on vacation because it's not supposed to rain uh for a couple days so this guppy tub uh has the red cobra i think i think that's what it is and there's about a hundred fry in there looks like the second female dropped her fry if you remember the last update there was maybe 15 or twenty thousand, but now there's probably a hundred of each no <laughs> looks like there's twice as many which is why i think the second female dropped her fry now um i may pull the male out of here because She'll probably drop, both of them will probably drop fry in about 28 to 30 days. Um, and that'll put us at the end of August. And they'll still be pregnant. I may drop the male back in here just for a day or two after that. But I gotta decide. This tub, little 10 gallon tote, uh, is also quite low. Oh, you know what? Oh, I did drill holes. There's one there. Okay. Um, no fry that I can see in here. Not that I can hear, like H-E-A-R, hear, H-E-R-E. See, no fry that I can see in here. Okay, yeah. Um, some weird bug thingy. Water's quite warm, which is nice for them. Uh, they'll grow faster, the fry will grow faster. I know the last video I said I was gonna pull one of these males out, and to be quite honest, I'm just lazy and I haven't done it. These are the Dumbo ears, I believe. I gotta double check. See, I gotta go back to my video, and I said that last video. Well, look at all these fry. Look at them all. There's like a thousand of them. Like 300 million fry. And the, uh, the plants are doing well out here as well. So here, no, this is the red cobra tank. So what's this? See, so I'm gonna go back and watch. This might be the, okay, I lied. That's the Dumbo ear. All right, let's look for the male. That's not a Dumbo ear. What is that? What tank is this? Did I put two red cobra tanks out here? <sighs> yeah, I should have looked. What is that? Looks like a red cobra, doesn't it? Look at all those fry. I'm happy. I don't remember what it is, folks. Help me out. These, I think, are the red magentas. These, I think, are cobras. And there's fry in here, so that's good. And then these, which I can see fry, and I'm very, very happy, are the grass guppies. Uh, they were sold to me as bluegrass, and just like most other guppy strains, red is a dominant color. If there's any red gene in there, the reds will pop as well. So I just call them grass guppies, and I'll have blue and red grass from here. You can see how low this tub is, though. Uh, here's one of the drain holes. And so, you know, it's about an inch and a half, two inches down. So 
Uh, but yeah, remember I said the other day, I put my hand in here and went, oh, I probably scared the females. They all were hiding because they're getting ready to drop fry. Boom, fry. Didn't let me down. All right, fishy folks, let's go downstairs and check out some fry in the basement. Stand by. All right, fishy folks, we'll start with the glass belly guppies. You can see there's a sort of a juvenile-ish fry there. And let's see, there's definitely some fry fry in here. Yep, there's a couple. See, I don't know if you could see them. They're tiny. Uh, nothing yet from the purple mosaic dumbbell or sulfur head in this tank, but the quarries are doing well. No quarry babies either. To be honest, I haven't really been looking though. Oh, also in here are green dragons, no babies. Speaking of babies, uh, there's been a male in this cave um, for about two days now, so I'm assuming there's eggs in there. Uh, this tank's pretty cloudy. I just did a, a water change and it stirred everything up. Uh, you can see these snails have devoured this cucumber and there's some uh, rapache in there from this morning and there's some more rapache. That's the solvent green, I think. Uh, apparently these guys didn't like it too much, so uh, I'll probably pull it out. Hopefully snails will attach to it and I'll pull it out. Uh, here. Uh, red mosaic dragon, no, red dragon guppies. Uh, fryer growing up. There's quite a few different sizes in here. There's also pleco fry in there you can see. Those are the ones I bought from Doug. Thank you, Doug. There's one on the wall. Looking nice. These guppies are pretty spectacular. Uh, looking forward to them growing up so I can start selling them. Uh, soon, we got a couple males in there. There's three that I see, four, three really nice ones. One with half blue, half red tail, which is cool, but not really what these guys look like. So I may, I may put him in the mutt tank. Uh, there's also a female that looks like that, so that's kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, once I get probably five males, I'll probably put them up on the website. You know, the last time I did that, though, uh, they saw, I sold out rather quickly. So ah, we'll see what happens. Uh, no fry in the new guppy tank. These are the red mosaic dumbo air guppies. Look like the red dragons a little bit. Uh, you can see the females also have some dumbo ears, which is kind of nice. Uh, you know, I didn't expect anything out of these guys just yet. They've only been in a tank for a couple days, so. Uh, let's take a look at this tank. This is the um, sulfur head cobra tank. And then, if you remember, I found a female platy in here, and she must have dropped a thousand fry. And of course, there's a gajillion snails. That's a technical number, gajillion. Um, but that's what the males look like, the sulfur head males. I gotta try to pull him out if I can. Put him in one of my male tanks. Um, these are these are a great, hardy, very prolific guppy. They're not on the website yet because I don't really have enough big males that I can sell. Uh, probably when I get back from vacation, I'll take another count. Maybe that'll be the next product up on the website. All right, more fry. Let's let's go down low. We got the black panda tank. Needs to be cleaned. I shouldn't even show it from the top. Actually, there's really not that many fry in there. There's a lot of juveniles and adults. I just sold six females to somebody in York, Pennsylvania. A guppy breeder. Hopefully she'll, uh... She asked me if they were Cory stock too, and obviously they are, so. Yeah, I got these from Cory. I did mix in uh, some from Super Breeder Steve, just to mix the genetics a little bit, so. They're not 100% Cory's, but. Here's an all male guppy tank. We got some black Moscow's. I did sell a lot of black Moscow's last weekend for the sale and some cobra guppies. See, there's a passion there from this morning as well. So these guys didn't really like this flavor of hashi. I'm surprised guppies up top ate it. At least I think they did. I'll probably end up taking these out, putting it in the, uh, the big pleco tank. That guy eats anything. All right, more fry you say? There are some fry in this Cobra Guppy tank. And there's some fry in this Cobra Guppy tank. I think. I mean, I'm sure there is. I don't see any at the second. So we'll just look at these fry. See, there's fry in there. 
So what I've been doing with these guys is taking out the males, putting them in a mall, in a all male guppy tank, and uh, letting the females do their thing as the babies grow up, and I can start to sex them. I pull the males out, and uh, I've been having good success with higher spawns and bigger females. So a good example is this tank. I did drop a male back in here. Look at him. He is sexy, isn't he? Look at him. Well, you can see all the fry. Quite a few delicious tender fry and ginormous females. And the tank's a mess, but who cares? I do got a famous glass. Uh, let's take a look at Pleco Bellies. <gasps> oh, she's so cute. Baby Plecos in here. The Calicos. See, see, they didn't even eat the Rapashi either. There's one on the glass up there. I don't know if you can see with the reflection. All right, let's show you some more fry. Here we have Tanaka maple leaf fry. They're tiny. The, the guppies themselves are small, so the fry are even tiny. -er. We have Japanese blue fry. Uh, I am out of stock of the Jarwee Lazuli's guys. They're off the website. Somebody just asked for a pair today. Uh, I've been subbing these guys instead. So these guys are kind of running low on stock also. But it's a great looking guppy with a lower sword tail. Stay small. All right, we got the black Moscow tank, lots of fry, got some more males to pull out. These are a great, prolific, very hardy, very healthy guppy. Uh, the males are pretty much all black. There is some silver on the bellies, just a little bit on some of them. I've been trying to take those out. Um, not culling them, but just taking them out, putting them in a different tank. And uh, what else do we have? Oh, we got fry in the red, white, and blue American tank. But what I'm most happy about, guys, let's go over here to this new guppy that Doug sent me as a surprise. You can see how sexy he looks, especially if I could focus. It would be spectacular if this would focus, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yeah, if I could use my camera, I would be golden. Anyway, I found Fry in here yesterday. Of course, now they're hiding. Here, fry, 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 fry. Oh, there's one. Here, fry, 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 fry. Look at the tiny female, but there's a, there's fry. See? See him? Uh, I've seen like six or seven. This morning, or was it yesterday, I saw one, and I didn't see the female, and I didn't go searching for her because she's probably hiding, waiting for it to get dark to drop fry, but there she is right there. Looks quite a bit skinnier, so. Oh, there's seven or eight fry. Eight, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I see seven, so there's probably 10 or 12 in there. So I'm looking forward to raising these guys up. I have to ask Doug if he's okay with me selling them. Um, I once gave guppies to somebody and uh, this person turned around and sold them, tried to sell them for a profit, which in itself wouldn't be bad if they told me and we weren't competitors, but the fact that I gave them to her as a gift and she went to sell them, I was a little upset. She took it the wrong way and that's that, but I'm gonna ask Doug if, he, if it's okay if I sell them. If not, I'll just give them away to friends or keep them here. Um, I'll probably give them away because I don't really keep any fish for my own, only to sell, so. All right, fishy folks, that's it for Fry Fry Friday. Let's take a look at the uh, steel, nebula steel, steel nebulas. I forget what you guys call them. It'd be so nice if it would focus, okay. Uh, there's a couple males in there, some fry, hopefully they'll grow up and we'll have some, uh oh, there's a dead one. Sorry guys, I gotta go check what's going on in this tank. Maybe I'll check water piranha for the first time in two years, I doubt it. Black and uh, the, the, what are these? Half black, red tuxedo, red tuxedo delta tail, I forgot what they're called. Lots of fry, lots of reflection because I forgot my filter. Sorry, Jimmy. All right, guys, I'm out. I'm messing this up. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com. Peace. Fry Fry Friday update. Stay tuned. 
right, fishy folks, welcome to Michael's Fish Room. Don't forget to check out michaelsfishroom.com for all your guppy needs. They are spectacular. Trust me, I know the guy that bred them. 